guys, the beast is here. This video was made because I realized there's a lot of background videos I've been making recently. Yeah, I know they do well, but I just want to do something different. We're going to go back to uh, Skylanders content for a bit, just like this video, I think. This time, I want to, well, make some sort of custom very variant idea based off of a uh, stereo gone why stereo ask i don't know i just do before we begin uh there's gonna be two characters but technically one depending on how you think of our projects from victims is going to be a uh, trap shadow and fire kraken which comes to become trap kraken when you swap swap them that's what we're gonna be painting today, Trap Kraken. Soul Force is one of my favorite rosters in the series and has the in my opinion the best gimmick in many ways. And I just love playing as Trap Kraken. I yeah. So I wanted to do this anyways. This is going to be interesting since um how do I put I want to test further into my painting skills with figurines. Well, anyways, uh, before we start, I wanted to say this is what it first originally looked like, and then I painted the entire thing white, and not only that, I soon add some clay just to make it look good. So, the painting of the white, it's all done. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna paint the eyes next. I know it kind of looks like, I know it kind of looks like butt cheeks right now, but I'm still working on it. I'm gonna have to paint another coat. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I know it looks dirty, but I haven't finished it yet. I did the water. I did um, I washed it. Now um. Sorry about the uh, lack of updating with the figure, figure's process. I need to get used to uh, updating it, like how um, I normally do. It was just that the t-shirt one, the t-shirt customization one, was such a long process, just by simply um, just doing like small steps, like. Oh, we're coloring um, purple, or now we're coloring red because that's just a lot of time consuming, you know. So yeah, um, we're, I think we're gonna be almost done once the dry brushing is it's done. I'm not hundred percent sure if I want to do more or not, but yeah, I did the uh, dry brushing on the red part of the skin, and I think it looks a million times better. But, yeah, it's looking good so far, of this being a, a successful experiment. Basis completed. We're almost done, guys. I just have to glaze the base. But I think it's looking really good. I really do. I try to make the flames, but it's kind of hard, you know. Alright, before I show you the finished product, I wanted you to both first see, um, Fire Kraken and Trap Shadow. As you can see, they, are, they look very different. But you could see the top and bottom half of, of uh, the stir custom, uh, skin thing. And you could also see like what it originally looked like, and that's um, my jaded fire kraken, which is a um, fire kraken but green. So here is all three side by side. I really prefer the color of the green. It's very simple compared to uh, the regular fire kraken. Now here is the um, trap kraken. I decided to use the jade version for the bottom part, just because it blended well together with um, the purple, 
the blue and the green. They're all cool colors. And yeah. But I, I used the regular version as like the thing of painting. And here's them side by side. You can tell that there's some modification to the clay figure, clay art and all that stuff. And, uh, side by side, I think I did a really good job. Overall, I really like this. Of course, there's some, a bit of mistakes, but, you know, it's learning. You know, you're going to not be perfect. I think I did a good job as at least I try my best. Um, I do like how I modified it a bit with the clay. I'm, uh, and not only that, I can also just use the uh, switching. So you could just see that it's actually switchable if you want it to be. So, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.